simultaneous linear equation. We have considered uh, ordinary linear equation. Now we want to consider simultaneous linear equation. When we are talking about simultaneous equation generally, when we are given more than one equation, I want to find the value of the unknown variables. Then, solving the equations simultaneously, we say that that is a simultaneous equation. The method of solution of simultaneous equation are elimination method and the substitution method. So, we are dealing with simultaneous linear equation. Now, we start with elimination method. So, I will explain this using the following examples. So, let's start with elimination method. Example 1. Find x and y if this is this and this is this. Let us call this equation 1 and call this equation 2. If we want to apply elimination method, what you do is you consider the coefficient of x in this first equation and the coefficient of x in this second equation. So now the coefficient of x in this second equation is 2. So you use two to you use these two to multiply all the expression here. While this three you use it to multiply all the expression like this. Two times all this. Likewise this three. You use it to multiply the second one. Three times all this. Here, let's multiply it. 2 times 3s, that will give me 6x, plus 2 times 2y, that will give me 4y, equal to 2 times 5, that will give me 10. Also this, 3 times 2s, 3 times 2s will give me 6s, plus 3 times 5, will give me 15y, equal to 3 times 7. They give me 21. After you have done this, the next thing now is you do a compulsory subtraction. Compulsory subtraction. Like, that is, you will see all this one minus all this. This minus this. This minus this. Like this. Starting from 6x minus another 6x. This is plus 4y plus 4y minus 15y and the last one 10 minus this minus 21 6s minus 6s is gone what you have left is 4y minus 15y and 4y minus 15y will give you minus 9y equal to they will give you minus 11y equal to 10 minus 21 that is minus 11 from this it is easy for us to find the value of y therefore y is minus 11 over minus 11 that is what we have been doing and this will give me 1 in that case the value of y is equal to 1 after you have known the value of y you can now write Substitute y is equal to 1, this y that you get, into equation 1. This is our equation 1. So that is, anywhere you see y, you put it as 1. In this equation 1, you can decide to use equation 2, any of this equation. Now, let's begin it. Starting from, what we have here, starting from 3x. 3x plus 2y. But instead of y, we have said it will be 1. This is 2y, 2, 1. y is equal to 1, equal to 5. So this is now 3s equal to 5 minus 2x, uh, 5 minus 2. 3s is equal to 3. 5 minus 2 is 3. Then s is equal to 3 over 3. This is 1. So we have seen that s is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. Now let's consider another example. Solve for s in this, in this, solve for s and y in this equation. As usual, this is 5 and this is 2. This is 3. 
So we use the 5, this 5, to multiply this first equation. And we use this 3 to multiply this second equation. Yeah, let's multiply it. That will become 5 times this, 5 times 3x. This is 15x minus 5 times y. That will give me 5y equal to 5 times 7, 35. Likewise, it's 3 times 5s, that is 15s plus 6y, that is 3 times 2y, equal to 3 times 8, 24. Let's call this equation 1, equation 2. Now, after that, after you have multiplied it, you come to this compulsory subtraction. So that is all the upper one minus the lower one. So that is 15x minus 15x, this minus this, followed by minus 5y minus 6y, minus 5y minus 6y, equal to 35 minus 24, 35 minus 24, this minus this. This minus this, this minus this. So this minus this is gone. What we have left here is minus 5y minus 6y. That will give me minus 11y equal to. We are left with um, 35 minus 24. And that will give me 11. From that place, y will give me 11 divided by minus 11. And 11 divided by minus 11 is equal to minus 1. Therefore, we have seen that y is equal to minus 1. After that, you write the same statement that is substitute y is equal to minus 1 into equation 1. This is our equation 1. I told you you can use equation 2 as well. You can use any convenient one. Now, in our first equation, what you have there now is 3x minus y. 3x minus, I have written the minus. Then followed by y. What's our y? Our y is minus 1. Minus 1. Equal to 7. We have double minus here. This will become plus. So from this list, I'll collect the light terms. This leads to linear equation. I'll take this to the other side. That will become 3s is equal to 7 minus 1. This is plus 1 before. So we have 3s equal to, this will give me 6. So from this place, s will be equal to 6 divided by 3. This is 2. So we have now seen that s is equal to 2 and then y is equal to minus 1 are the solutions. Let's consider another example. So we have another one here. So in this case, what you do is, we want to use... Uh, Sub, uh, substitution method what is there about substitution method is that you would make one variable discovery the formula in one of the equations then you substitute it in the second equation that is all about substitution method for instance this number one I will make s discovery the formula and what that simply means is that you retain s you take the other variable to the other side that is you write it like this if I take this one to the other side, I will have, this is plus 2y, I will have minus 2y. Let me call it equation 3. I will make, I have made S the same formula. You can decide to make y to the same formula, but it will be creating problems. So I have made S the same formula. From this place, I will substitute, you will now write, substitute S is equal to minus 3 minus 2y into equation to this one into this one so that is anywhere you see s you will write this one there so here we have 3 into x minus y equal to 5 that is what we have there so our x will be written as 3 minus 2y so s is no more there what you are writing is this now let us expand 3 times 3 that is minus 9 Minus 3 times 2y, that is 6y. Then minus this y again, equal to 5. 
From that place, we have minus 9. Minus this minus this, that is a minus 7y equal to 5. Now, you need to take this one to the other side to collect the light terms. If I collect the light terms, I'll take this to the other side. If I have taken it, this is what I will have left. I will have minus 7y left. This is 5 plus 9. This is minus 9 before. When it gets there, it becomes plus 9. We have minus 7y equal to 14. Therefore, our y is equal to y equal to 14 divided by minus 7. And 14 divided by minus 7 will give me minus 2. 14 divided by 7, that is 2. So we have found y to be equal to minus 2. So as usual, you can now write substitute, substitute y is equal to minus 2 into equation 3. Where is equation? This is equation 3. Or I told you it is any of the equations. You can decide to use equation 1, equation 2, you can decide to use equation 3. But I'm using equation 3 because I have made x the same formula before. In that case, we can now say that x is equal to minus 3 minus 2y, 2, then our y is um, minus 2. Then x is equal to minus 3, minus 2 times 2 here will become plus 4. So what we now have is minus 3 plus 4, minus 3 plus 4 will give me 1. So we are now seeing that s is equal to 1 and then y is equal to minus 2 are the solution to the problem. Let's consider an equation that we, that we have linear and a quadratic. We use substitution for it too. We have our example for here. This is a linear and this is a quadratic. Now, how do we do this? We use substitution method. I will start by do, we start doing that by making any of the variable in this equation the square formula. So the best to make the square formula is this y. So this will be two x. This is two x. When this seven comes here, it becomes minus 7 and when this plus minus y goes to the other side it becomes y so what you have done is y is equal to 2x minus 7 let me call this equation 3 so what you don't do is you substitute this y into this second equation substitute y equal to this into equation 2 this second equation here so the second equation we have x squared plus 2 y squared. So our y is um, 2s minus 7 all squared is equal to 11. Now this will give me s squared plus 2 into, we need to expand this. If you want to expand it, this is um, this way, 2s minus 7 all square. It simply means 2s minus 7 in two places. And if you expand that, it will give you 2s times 2s, 4s squared. 2s times this, we have minus 14x. Minus 7 times 2s, we have minus 14s again. Minus 7 times minus 7, that is plus 49. And that should give me 4x squared minus 28x plus 49. So this will give me 11. If you expand further, we have x squared plus 2 times this. That is 8x squared minus 2 times 28. That should give me 56x plus 2 times 49. That is 98 equal to 11. Let's simplify further. It a, a square plus 8 square. This will give me 9 square minus 56x 
plus 98 minus 11 equal to 0. This is 9 squared minus 56 plus 98 minus 11 will give me 87 equal to 0. So this one leads to quadratic equation. And since we have treated quadratic equation, I will just go straight to point. And when we use any of the method that I have treated before, you pause the video and write out the answer whether you are going to get it. So when you have finished it, your answer should be equal to So these are the two values for S, 3 and um, 29 over 9. They are the two values of S. So we need to know the values of Y too. So we'll come back to this equation, which is Y is equal to 2S minus 7. Y is equal to 2S minus 7. So we start by saying if S is equal to 3, this one. Y will be equal to anywhere you see S, you put it as 3. Y will be equal to 2 times 3, 2 times 3, minus 7. And 2 times 3, this is 6, minus 7. 6 minus 7 will give me minus 1. Therefore, Y is equal to minus 1. So we have seen that if S is equal to 3, Y will be equal to minus 1. Similarly, if S is equal to 29 over 9, then y is equal to 2 times, this is what you'll be following, 29 over 9 minus 7. And that will give me minus um, 5 over 9. So we have found the value. So the solutions are s is equal to 3, y is equal to minus 1. s is equal to 29 over 9 y is equal to minus 5 over 9. So these are the solutions to this uh, equation.